Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the Lowe's Smoother in Stata. In order to do so, we'll start by loading the Census 13 data set. It's a pre-existing data set in Stata and as you can see it's a record of the demographic characteristics of the US states including birth rate, population and so on. What I'm interested in today for the purposes of demonstration is the relationship between marriage rate and divorce rate. And before we start getting to the graphics of that using the smoother, let's go ahead and run a regression model. And we can see that in fact there is a significant association between marriage rate and divorce rate. It's highly significant, very high F value, and the R squared is just about 0.6. And we see finally that this is a positive relationship. So as marriage rate goes up, so does the divorce rate. Now, what do we what do we want to use the low smoother for? Well, the first thing I want to do is just show you what happens when we input let's go ahead and make that scheme S1 color when we create a graphic here that shows the ordinary least squares relationship between the variables notice that what we have we're seeing a straight line right that's the OLS line of best fit and it's giving us a certain idea of what's going on with the data it's, it's showing us a kind of the one-way trend uh, between marriage rate and divorce rate and really quickly here, by the way, I do want to highlight that I put in some added code over here. Um, I excluded the 30th state, which is Nevada, because Nevada is a huge outlier in these data. Now, if I go ahead and, let's say, remove that portion of the code and redo the OLS line of best fit, you can see it's not very useful here. Nevada is such a huge outlier that it completely distorts the relationships um, between marriage rate and divorce rate for the other states. That's why I was interested in excluding it. Anyway, I think in order to see the true benefit of the low smoother, let's just go ahead and graph it and then compare it to the OLS line of best fit that we just generated. Once again, I'm excluding Nevada using this code here. And state, of course, is, is the variable name under which Nevada is listed. And this portion of the code is not equals. So here I'm basically saying do the lows, and here's the command, do the low smoother on the relationship of marriage rate on divorce rate if Nevada is excluded. In other words, if the state uh, does not equal 30, does not take on the value of 30. And I've gone ahead and used a comma and tacked on the S1 color scheme, which you could omit if you wanted. I just wanted to show you that, you know, as, as with all static graphics, it's possible to use different color schemes. And here is our low smoother. So what we see here is a, is, is a kind of a different shape. And it's it's exerted here by, you know, this state as well over here. I'm not sure what this state is, but it, it really shows you there's a couple of ways to visualize the data. Now, you would have to get into theory and, and some kind of um, deeper empirical explanation here also to understand why you might expect a kind of, let's say, inverted U effect over here, right? It might somehow be the case that marriage rate is positively associated with divorce rate up to a certain point and then there's a decline or that could just be an artifact of an outlier that we don't really have a good reason to consider i'm not speaking so much to that as to the difference between the low smoother in shape and for example the ols line of best fit if there are these subtle kinds of relationships that might not show up completely with an ols line of best fit you do want to use something like the low smoother just to give you an example of different directions in which that relationship could go. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence.
We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.